In this video, we're going to take a look at a new tool called Misconfig Mapper, which was developed by Blackbird for Integrity. It's an open source template based tool written in Golang, and the goal is to identify misconfigurations in common services. It has some cool features like the ability to have name permutations based on the company or target. You can apply throttling to make sure you stay within the bug bounty program terms and things like that. So let's go and take a look at the documentation. I've moved over to the Git book at the moment. You can see here this is the introduction, misconfig mapper documentation. And if you go into the introduction, you can see that this is broken into two sections, really. We've got our documentation and then we have the scanner, which you can download from GitHub. And we'll go and do that shortly. At the moment, there are 15 plus services available and you can click here for the list of services. And then you can basically drill down on these and see what kind of things it's looking for in the services. So let's pick an example. Let's go with GitLab. And here's a misconfiguration, private source code snippets exposed. You can click on that and then get more information, some description, how to test for it, how to remediate it, and the potential impact. All right, cool. So let's go and download the CLI tool. You can go over to the CLI tools section here and find out how to download the repo, compile it from source, and how to use it. I'm actually just going to go and download the release. So there is a zip file that we can download. OK, so now we can run Misconfig Mapper. And by default, it'll just print the usage options. So we can see that we can list services with this option. And that will show us the 12 services that are currently fully automated. So some services are documented, but not automated. And I'll show later how we can add new templates or make adjustments because obviously this is an open source tool and we are encouraging contributions. In terms of some of the other options we have here, then we can set headers. So maybe you need to set cookies for some of your requests. We can set a maximum redirects. Permutations, sometimes you might want this to be disabled, uh, particularly if you want to test this against like Hack the Box or Port Swigger Labs and things like that. And if you want to just test a specific service ID, you can provide the number or you can provide a keyword. So if we provide Jenkins, it'll actually run both of these scans. We can also set a timeout. We can set a delay. Obviously, this is important. We want to make sure we can enforce a rate limit if we're testing against bug bounty programs. And we can skip misconfiguration checks. So this will basically just check to see whether there is an active service on the domain that we've chosen, but it won't return any information about the misconfigurations on the site. OK, so let's test it out. I'm going to run misconfig mapper, and I'm going to run it against a port swigger target. This is a lab that has GraphQL enabled. So we want to test the GraphQL feature. And we can do that by specifying the service as the ID or as a name if we do GraphQL. And that means if there are any future GraphQL misconfiguration checks here, it will also run those as well. Maybe we want to set a delay and say, wait 1,000 milliseconds between each request. Maybe that's the terms of the bug bounty program we're looking at. And note that I've provided the domain name here, but that will default to HTTPS. So if you've got a HTTP site, you can specify the protocol here and it will take that protocol instead. That's it, we can run through that. You can see it is running through. It says 25 possible target URLs. Ah, that is because I have the permutations enabled. So this is what I was saying about the lab. Sometimes you wanna disable that because we already know this is the URL and we don't necessarily need it to permutate through the different possible domains. So let's do that again. Let's try and set our permutations to false. Oh, permutation maybe it is. I think I might miss a space. And maybe it is permutations. There we go. All right, get it eventually. So now it only runs through one possible target URL because it doesn't have those permutations. And it came back with the URL that the GraphQL instance was found on and some reproduction steps. So we need to send a post request to this and then have a look at this manually. We might need to make some changes. And if we do need to do that, here are some references with the info. I've opened up the services.json file, which is in the templates folder. And this is where the services are defined and where you can go and customize the templates and add new services, improve the existing templates, things like that. We're really encouraging contributions from the community on this. Anyway, that is it for this video. It has been a short one, which is unusual for me, but I hope you download and test the new tool. We're encouraging contributions. And if you find any bugs, you can raise an issue on GitHub and Blackbird will be working on maintaining the tool, adding new services, fixing bugs, things like that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.